Are we ready for the story? Let's get ready for the story. And there was once a man that lived in a town and did a lot of miracles and cured sick people and gave um, sight to the blind. And people wonder who he was. And he said, I am the light. Get our story started. This is a very important story. We are using the color white because we are celebrating Easter and white is a celebration. Our story today is going to be about Catherine. Catherine of Siena. She lived in this town, the smallest town in Italy, that had red brick houses and cobblestone streets and she lived in this tiny house and she was the 24th child of this family that had 25 children. Wow. And she wanted to help people and she wanted to be part of something good. So she started following God at the young age of seven. Catherine wanted to do good things in this world. So she decided to become a nurse and help people that were sick. As she helped people that were sick, she went to hospitals and she went to the homes and she helped people that were dying from the Black Plague back then. And she helped people get better too. And people knew, people knew in Siena that she was something special. So Catherine decided to continue to follow God and develop a close relationship with God. So she went to Florence, a city in Italy too, and met this guy named Raymond, Raymond da Cupta. Raymond became like a spiritual person for her and helped her learn about God and develop a better relationship with God. And then when she went back to Siena, she started writing letters to Raymond. And in one of those letters, she said, Raymond, you are like a father and a son to me, like God is. And I feel that you are a gift by the mother Mary that was given to me. And she kept writing all type of letters to him. And as she wrote the letters to him, one letter she said, I am so sorry, but my heart is connected to my mouth and my brain and I just can't stop writing to you. And as she continued to grow spiritually, she realized that she loved flowers. And her favorite flower was the Easter lily. She loved the smell of the Easter lily and she made little crosses with the flowers and gave them to her special friends. One night, she dreamt that she had a crown full of lilies that God had given to her. And she wore this crown. Catherine was so well respected in her town. She would go where there was arguments in this town and that town and People couldn't get along, and they knew that if she come in, she will talk to them, and she will help them figure it out. Then she started to have followers. She called them flock of birds. They follow her everywhere. And some of them reached out to her and said, you need to go to Rome. The popes in the Vatican are arguing, and we need you to go there. When she got there to talk to them, the popes weren't getting along and one of them left to Florence and they asked her to please go to Florence and help out and see if they can talk to the pope. So she did go from Rome to Florence and talk to the pope and was able to convince that pope to come back from Florence to Rome 
He still didn't agree with everything, but he decided to come back. Catherine was a special person. She wrote a book that was called The Dialogue. And in that book, she wrote about her spiritual journey throughout her years. And she spoke about this relationship that she had with God in the book. And she said, God is like a bridge. But it's a covered bridge made out of stone that is really strong to protect me. And God in the bridge provides a roof and walls. So as I go through, I don't fall over the bridge. If there's rain coming down, I'm protected from the bridge. And as I cross the bridge, when I come to the other side, I am somebody different. And that's her relationship with God. As she got older, she couldn't drink. She couldn't walk anymore. She will go to mass at St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome every Sunday. And the time came that she passed away. She died at the young age of 33. And there are only a few saints that are females. And St. Catherine is one of three of the women that are well respected in the church and became a saint. Now I wonder, what is the most important part of this story? Now I wonder if I take something out of the story, could we still have the story? Let's see, what if I take the bridge? Can we still have the story? What if I take the letter? Can we still have the story? Wait a minute, I'll leave these three. What if I take St. Catherine, do we still have the story? Now I wonder which part of the story did you identify yourself with? Which part of the story do you think you fit in? I wonder. Now I'm gonna put this away and you know where the stories of the saints are kept. So you can go and play with them in the future. So now we're going to put out the light, but we're not gonna turn off the light. We're gonna make sure that the light as we change the light, it goes with each and every one of us.